The autopsy could not be completed, said a dark, shadowy figure. Four bodies don't just disappear. Something happened there. The room was all a haze to me. I believed I was at a police station. Officers were scampering all around. A paramedic started to examine me. I was being asked what happened in there. Where did the bodies go? What's in there? But I didn't answer. I couldn't. Years ago there was an experiment known as Nexus. Project Nexus. It was an experiment in which four people of all sorts were put together. They were put into a building about the size of a school. The building was filled with traps, torture machines. Lastly there was something else in there, not ever being mentioned in the report. A creature of some sort. Horrible abominations, mutants, and who knows what else. The locked room. I and four other people were shoved into what looked like a bank vault. The door closed, gears shuddered, and sputtered and clanged and clacked. Locking the door, a lone light bulb turned on in the distance. Under it being a small table, the table had three guns and a knife. The knife looked like one of those nice hunting ones you get from Bass Pro Shop. The hilt was nice brown leather, and it looked as if the blade was a dark blood red. The knife had been stabbed into the table. Under it a note saying, you are going to need these. A and T. We all read the note and took our weapons. Me taking a gun, another taking the knife and the rest taking the two guns. We decided if we are going to be in here a while we might as well share our names I told them. A guy named Mark went first. He looked as if maybe he was 17 or 18. I went next saying my name is Alex. The next two went. Both were girls. I didn't even notice them considering the fact I was worried about starving or dying of thirst. One girl said her name is Laura. The next girl said her name was Dimas. What a strange name I thought. But I was polite and decided to say. What a cool name. Quote. After we had finished another door that had dark writing on it that said. Nexus Test 001. It opened up making the same loud irritating noises the first one did. We walked through it and appeared in a room made completely out of pure white tile. The floor, the walls, the ceiling, everything was made out of the tile. As the other three went forward the door shut. Next to me was a button that said press. I pressed it hoping a secret door would open. Oh was I horribly wrong. Instead a tape played stating the room would fill with blood from thousands of dead test subjects. Panels opened up and different stages of decomposing bodies started to pour out. Dimas and me puked. The room started to fill. Mark looked up and said there's a door on the ceiling. We all looked up and saw it and had to wait for the blood to take us to the top. When the blood had finally taken us to the top we opened the door and walked in. We fail. As we looked up we realized that we had walked onto the ceiling. And now all the blood was rushing into the room. The hole was there that stated. Put the red metal in. Quote. As Mark did. I wish he had let go instead of trying to get it back. When he tried to get it back the blood had stopped. But his eyes turned completely black. He started to melt into a mess. Oh God. If I stated the details of it you would be puking your breakfast lunch, and dinner out. After that horrifying experience we came to a room where we got chained to the floor. I woke up with a sudden jolt hearing what were believed to be the screams of Laura. And was a right. A man wearing black and red was repeatedly beating her and raping her. My gun was still in my pocket. I pulled it out and yelled at the guy going, Hey a hole, quote. He turned around and I shot him a couple times using all the ammo I had. Dimas woke up and I told her what happened. She went to comfort Laura. What do you want with U.S.? I screamed. I heard nothing back, except for a small growling. Something with the face of Mark lunged at me. I took the gun and smashed it into the thing. I yelled, run, to Laura and Dimas. As I ran up to catch with them someone had grabbed me and pulled me away, throwing me outside. I woke up in the middle of nowhere. A nice grassy field. A note was next to me saying, You can save them, but of course, there will be blood. Quote, 
I'm now in the police station being examined, and asked these questions about what happened. I don't respond I just sit there, hoping I can rescue them, because there was music playing in that building. Music that sounded exactly like the music inside that horrible place.